Hello friends, so today we can discuss this problem from the lead code, main lead coding challenge, problem name, online stock spam. So the problem statement states that you have to write a stock planner which collects daily price codes for some stock, okay, and return the spam of the stock's price for the current day. So in simple words, what they want is for every stock price, you have to find a continuous stretch such that the previous days have more cost than the current day so as you can see in this stock the price of that stock is 61st then 70 so it's increased so the span for this day is 2 because there is a span of size 2 in which this stock uh, stock price increase but in this as you can see the stock price doesn't increase as you go on so the span of this is only one the span of this is only one but the spam for this now also it is it is one but now for this as you can see the, the stock price for this increases till this day so the stock spam of this is 4 and the stock spam of this is 6 as you can see so you have to find a continuous stretch uh, of uh, the vector or the uh, stocks such that it is increasing I hope you understand or the previous stocks are less than or equal to this stock okay so we can easily do this with the use of a stack because stack always collects and we have to always look at the element which is stock so we can always compare it with the previous days okay so let me take you to the example and it will move clear so i have taken this example only and i have taken this okay so i have written the prices of them in the order okay now we take a stack and what will we do is we take out the first day we check like whether there is a day before it no so we always take out the element and check it with the stack element because that only contain all the elements previously okay so because there is no element in the stack we just push it in the stack and what will we do is we actually add one in it so it means that the the maximum length of a continuous sub segment at this point is 1 and then what will we do is we will make it 1 here now we take 80 now we check whether 80 is less than or not so 80 is less than but it is not greater so it means that while you moving from here to here the price doesn't increase it decrease okay so the price actually decrease so what we can do is we also cannot find a sequence which is increasing so we again make it one and push it in the stack and mark its occurrence also to be one okay now what we'll do is we take 60 now 60 is also less than so it means again we cannot take anything so we again mark it as one push it in the stack and mark it this as one also okay now we take 70 because 70 is greater than 60 as we know that because now this indicates the previous day stock and now the stock price increases so what we can do is we have to do a while loop and we will take out the elements from the stack and what we will do is it will indicate the size of this so how many consecutive days they will be increasing the size of this will always be one and the number of elements we pop out from the stack add one to it so we will add this number because this in tell us the continuous stretch at this point so what will we do is we will pop this element out make it zero and then for this it was initialized as one now because six is the 60 is popped out it becomes two and then we place it in the stack and take this value and write it here it will be more clear when we come to 75 now we take 60 because 60 is less than 70 we just mark it as 1 and pop it in the stack and make it 1 okay now what the thing is now we take 75 now because when we take 75 75 is greater than 60 what we will do is it is first in slice as 1 we will do a while loop what we can do is we first pop this element out and add the contiguous sub segment uh, like sequence which is of length 1 so we delete this and we increase its value 
and by 1 which and then it become 2 now we check whether 75 is greater than 70 yes so we pop this out and mark plus 2 why we are plusing now what is the helpful of 2 is because there will be another element which we have popped out which is 60 but if we have popped it out how will we add 2 number here it, it is actually helping us to know that we have popped out 2 elements which is also less than 70 and it can be added in this sequence so I hope you understand that's why we have taken this number and then we'll delete this and then we will add it to here which is the value which was stored here so we add here so it become 4 now because 75 is not greater than 80 so we will pop this in and we will take this value and store it here so now we do the same for 85 and what will we do is we will take 85 and check with the top element yeah 85 is greater than top, top element it is in slice as 1 because the maximum length till this 85 is 1 then because 85 is more than we pop it out and because its value is 4 we add it here and at, as you can see now the value of here becomes 5 ok now 85 is more than 80 also so we pop this out and we delete it and because the value is 1 here we add this here and now the value becomes 6 and now because 85 is not less than 100 it's less than 100 so we pop it in and we increment its value as 6 and that's the answer as you can see I hope you understand how this stack and this function is implementing so now let's write the code it is also very simple so we will have to initialize our stack so we make a, a global stack here so it can be made like this stack of in uh, so we have to make a pair of stack because we are storing two values which I have told you s just initialize it here as we call to stack pair of stack and what will we do is we will initialize the total with one for the next element then we do a while loop till s is not empty and s dot top dot first which store the first value is less than or equal to price value then till then we will do the while loop and in the while loop what we do is we total plus equal to s dot to second dot second because the second store the frequency of the longest segment and then we pop that element out which I have told you in the explanation and then what we will do is s dot push that element which is actually the price and total value and we and we return total let's directly submit this it's giving the right answer let's submit this so as you can see it's accepted i hope you understand the logic uh, and explanation if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video if you like the explanation please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel see you in the next one